from Clear True O. And Keith, it's great to see you again. It's been a few years since the last great. time we got together. Yeah, absolutely, we're glad you stopped by. And you've got some new stuff to show us this year. Yeah, we do. We have. Uh, you may have known already that we are to continue to expand out in universal filters. So any right. 10 by two and a half, we now offer a full line of filters overall. So we have your standard filter, specialty filters, iron filters, even uh, Forest River filters as well. But this year, we're bringing out a brand new filter for the people who only have a single canister. Right. So whether or not they're using a pull behind or they just have a single canister overall, we're making a two-in-one canister or two-in-one filter now. So it has a 10 micron pre-filter on the outside, right. and then it has a five micron carbon filter on the inside. So now you can just take your single canister, you get two-in-one performance or dual performance on all of that. It's yeah. gonna give you very good quality water overall if you only have a single canister. Right. So it'll actually work out great for the people that just have that. Right, this would be good for like you know folks like us with an airstream where we don't have a lot of storage. That's right. But we want a little bit more than the hose attachment once. Yep. Um, we could get into something like this, have just a single setup, especially if we were gonna be in one place exactly. for a while. Exactly, so here where you're doing a two canister, you can do the same type of thing in the pre-filter and then the carbon filter on the inside. Right. So you still get an equal level of performance. Yeah, nice. That's a great product. Great, thanks. So on the hose attachment side, you've got some new products too that I'm anxious to see. Yeah, absolutely. So your, most of your customers are pretty much aware of that we make inline filters and we make both the dirt guard and an inline filter. But this year we're introducing a brand new filter, which is a five micron filter. So now we make the dirt guard and a one micron and now we're introducing the 5 micron, which is going to be higher flow rates. Right. It's going to be about 50% higher flow than the 1 micron filter overall. So the main reason that we're different is this is actually granular carbon, which is what most of the competitors actually have in their filter. And then our filter is a solid carbon block. So this is the difference between the two. And then the reason we can actually do such a much higher quality of filtration overall. So in addition to that, We've also introduced our dirt guard, so this is the filter that goes in the top. Right. We now make this available both in a 20 micron and also in a 10 micron. So okay. you can now pick and choose what you want to do. You can move a 10 micron dirt guard and a 5 micron inline filter or some combination. So that's available now. So if you're really concerned about water flow and feeling that the one micron uh, filter in the if 10 micron filter is too restrictive. Then you can go on to the five micron and you can almost uh, get, well, you'll get 50% more flow out of that one. Wow, okay. Yeah. Well, big difference. Yeah, now it, we did a video um, when we last were here with you when you gave us a product to test yep. and we did the flow compared it to the blue filter and there, there is a little bit less of a flow of water, but it really wasn't that bad. Right. And from my perspective, I really haven't been up bothered by that because a lot of times when we camp, it's nice to have a little less water flow because we don't have a big tank. That's true. And I don't That's want to fill true. that tank up. So having some type of restriction, whether it's the filter or a um, uh, regulator or something on the line or a combination of those is good. And yep. But I can understand too, if you've got tanks you're not worried about or you're on full hookups, then it'd be nice to have more flow in the shower. Or what a lot of people have is they have onboard filters as well. So they yes. do want to do a filter on the outside, yeah. but they can do a high flow filter on the outside and they can do a lower micron filter on the inside. So yeah. it gives you an ability to kind of pick and choose what's going to fit you best. Yep, that makes sense too. Nice. If you don't want to use the carbon filter, you can just use the dirt guard. That's exactly right. So a lot of people who actually have softeners, they yep. want to do a pre-filter into the softener. So there's not necessary to actually do the carbon filter into your softener. Yeah. So what we've done is we made this adapter and the adapter fits inside and allows you to use it as a pre-filter only. And mm -hmm. then you use this setup to go straight into your softener at that point in time. And usually you have a carbon filter that's downstream of that someplace. Right, okay? maybe underneath your, your sink or exactly. whatever. Exactly, or in your in your uh, wet well, etc. Yes. So, so that allows you to kind of pick and choose. Again, our system here is meant to be modular, so you kind of pick and use, and we want people to continue to use the different parts of it. Right, right, I like that. And, and I've got my eye on that for home, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for when I wash the car and the Airstream. <laughs> In, 
and, and now you've got something that's coming out that I'm really excited about, but unfortunately it's not available yet. That's right. Um, but you've got some tank flush and you know, cleaner type product. You can that's tell me right. better. You can do much better at it than I can. <laughs> so we've now developed products for your tank that you can do treatments for your tank. So your tank is just as important as the water that's coming in overall. And so you want to be able to do sanitize your system. So we make a full sanitizer. You sanitize your entire system. You do that once per year. And that's going to allow you to be able to have a fully sanitized system, including all your fixtures, etc. Right. And then flush all of that out. The good news on this is that you don't have to wait 8 to 12 hours like you do if you use bleach. So people that use bleach have to wait a long time. This you can put into the system half hour to an hour and then you can flush it out. So right. it'll do equal or better job. And it's biodegradable, it's non-bleach, so it is a better solution overall for that. And then once your system is clean, you can actually go into a maintenance. So we offer both a tank shock and a tank freshener. Either one of those. So if you're going to, if you clean your system and you want to just use uh, the tank fresh, what you can do is pour this in every time you fill up your tank. Every time you fill up your tank, you'll put in one ounce per 20 gallons. Right. And it remains in your tank. It is, uh, uh, it doesn't smell, it's odorless and it's tasteless. So, and you can drink it once it's in dilution. So, once it's in there, it's going to protect your tank and it's going to keep all any kind of microbial growth from happening whatsoever. So, you don't have to worry about anything going inside your tank once you use the freshener. If you've stored it for a period of time or you haven't used it, it's good to use our tank shock. It's just a higher concentration. Right. So you'll use that to shock the system and then go back into the uh, maintenance with the freshener alone. So you'd use this tank shock, so like if you've stored it for the winter, you bring it out in the spring. That's right. If your tank is clean, you know it's clean overall, you can just use your tank shock and then just shock the entire system and then go straight into the freshener after that. Right, and you'd use the freshener, you know, Pretty much every time you fill the tank. Every really. time you fill the tank, you put in, uh, again, an ounce per 20 gallons. Yep. And then from there, you just drink the water, use the water as normal. It's biodegradable and it's all bleach free. So right. it doesn't have that chlorine bleach smell or taste. So it's all bleach free. And the nice thing about this is that once it's in your tank, if you're between trips and you know maybe it's a week, week or couple, first floor, don't have to worry it. about it because exactly. it's going to stay for three to six months and it will stay active inside that water. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yep. And this is coming out when? It'll be in production now, but by the time it gets produced, it'll probably be late spring or early summer. Okay, okay. And you can find it online, Tank Fresh, you can find it on our website. And if you're if you're part of our list, we'll actually be sending out an announcement as well. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to this a lot. And also looking forward to the other products that you've got, you know, testing out the new uh, five micron filters yep. and everything. So this is great stuff, Keith. Uh, you, you, Keep coming up with new things, and I love it. We're we're gonna bring new things out every year, so keep coming back, because we're always gonna have something <laughs> new here to see. All right, thank you All very right. much. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Well, that's pretty exciting stuff that uh, Clear Two O is coming out with. I'm really looking forward to trying that five micron filter and see how much that makes a difference with water pressure. I can see having both filters because sometimes we, when we have higher water pressure, we like the one micron filter because it reduces it a little bit more. But for now, we're gonna replace this filter. Keith says you should replace it about every month. I think this is over six months old. So it's definitely needed to be re replaced. Especially when you start to see the water flow go, you know, slow down. So we will put in the new filter right here. He also suggests checking this filter and looking at it if it's starting to get uh, brown it's time to replace the filter in here and this is replaceable and they do have a uh, couple of different types of filter in here that you can put in um, different flow rates so that's something we're going to test in the future too put it in the right way there we go <clears throat> one tip that i would suggest is get a marker and write the date that you put this filter on so that you know how old it's been but I don't have a marker on me right now, so it's a good suggestion. Maybe we'll have to do it later. Well, everything's good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe. And we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. It's not waste time.